leeches are one of the scariest creatures in Oddworld, genetically engineered carnivorous monstrosities created by the Vikers to be the perfect pets for young Gluckums. Naturally, it went wrong, and they ended up growing up to be immensely vicious, and as a result, were flushed down the toilet, infesting the sewers of Oddworld, often ending up in the abandoned ruins of Oddworld's wild. The origins of the features are really interesting, as there seems to be some debate from what I could tell as to where exactly they come from specifically. I always pretty much took it that they were created outright by the Vikers, but when I was researching this, there seemed to be a theory that the leeches were actually genetically modified creatures instead, as in they were once completely natural and the Vikers captured them and genetically modified them to be a domesticated pet, apparently being very cute as babies until they get a strong taste for meat. Now this theory makes a lot of sense and suggests that there must be some kind of natural untouched fleech in the wild that we haven't seen yet. However, then I looked at the Art of Oddworld Inhabitants book, some might say the Oddworld Bible, and that states that fleeches were originally created in Vikers labs, which suggests to me that they were just completely created by the Vikers in some kind of horrific experiment. As with everything the Vikers touch, apparently, it goes horribly wrong and for some reason they accidentally gave the fleeches sticky six foot long tongues with such great force and power that they're able to use them in order to bludgeon their prey to death with. I guess the Vikers were trying to make a good pet that might show affection by licking their owners like dogs do, but also apparently the Vikers theory was that the long tongues would be able to clean hard to reach places of the Gluckon's body, which is a very pleasant thing to think about. These tongues have ended up granting the features the status of being one of the most dominant and feared creatures on Oddworld allowing them to move around quickly by using their adhesive tongue as a grappling hook to pull themselves up onto high places and keep them out of harm's way while also being able to use it to knock out anything they wish to eat before it has a chance to know what hit them, before a final strike latches onto them and pulls them through one of the creature's two mouths and into their stomach where they have an indigestion system that's able to digest massive creatures in seconds. When domesticated, fleeches are apparently very happy with their Glucken owners, but of course they are, they want meat, so they show false affection to their masters, who are literally giant pieces of meat. Many Gluckens suffered biting as opposed to licking from their fleech pets, and I presume it's when they developed to this point that they're flushed down the toilet in what is a rite of passage, I guess a coming of age event for young Gluckens, flush a fleech before they get too vicious. One thing I always wondered is why fleeches don't just outright eat the Gluckens, like these things would make terrible pets. So I guess it goes to show just how different they must be when they're younger. I'd imagine they start out very weak and not craving meat so much. Or not having the strength to eat something whole like they do in their adult incarnations. A bit like the way the plant from the Little Shop of Horrors starts out weak and just like eating drops of blood from a cut finger before growing bigger and eating a whole lot more. So I think the baby fleeches start licking their Glucken owners, acquiring a taste for fresh meats before becoming strong enough to start biting, and it's then that they're flushed down the toilet before it can get any worse, where they develop into fully grown, fully strong, fully ravenous adults. I find the idea that the Fleeches were created by Vikers really interesting, because that means even though the Fleeches seem like a natural creature, one of the natural elements of Oddworld, mostly in the games appearing in the natural areas, although their main location is in the underworld and sewers of Oddworld, where so many of them inhabit colonies, I believe, it means they are actually artificial, and that means that in some ways they are an indirect industrial infestation invasion. It's like a representation of pollution, of waste, the Gluckens throwaway culture just dumping their stuff without any care or concern at all once they're done with it. It's a parody of the myth that people flush pet baby alligators and crocodiles down the toilet when they get too big and as a result their sewers infested with them. The name Fleech is presumably a mix of frog, you know, because they both have long tongues that shoot out of their gob to grab their prey, and of course leech, because they're, well, need I say more, I think the resemblance between the fleeches and the predatory blood-sucking worms with the ability to lengthen and contract their bodies known as leeches is quite apparent. Although I personally always thought that leeches look more like slugs, but there we go. It's interesting to note that fleech, although probably unrelated, is actually a real word. I believe it's Scottish and means to speak flatteringly or coaxingly or something. So that's pretty interesting. Although it probably is just a coincidence that that word exists, I do find it interesting that the fleeches seem to have a permanent grin on their face. And I almost wonder if that's like a natural mechanism, coaxing creatures to come close to them. Or maybe a part of their genetically engineered past as pets where they're meant to be friendly. 
Or maybe, you know, like in nature, how some animals have, like, nice colours to attract a mate, or bright colours to warn off enemies or something. Maybe the grin is sort of there to make it appear friendly, to attract unsuspecting creatures to come near it, so it can suck it with its tongue and gobble it up. Or a better analogy, basically like the little shop of horrors, like how you get those plants, like the Venus flytraps, that for some reason flies land on them, and then they close up and get eaten. That sort of thing. Speaking of inspiration, the movement of the fleech is inspired by the inchworm, and looking at it you can blatantly see the similarities. Just imagine this, but massive and with two heads and basically you have a fleech. The thing that I find fascinating about the fleeches is how everything seems terrified of them. Even me as a child found them to be probably the scariest monster in the game, at least gameplay wise. When a fleech music played, you were like, oh damn. And I've been thinking about why that is, because arguably they're not even that dangerous when you consider everything else in the game kills you in one go. Scrabs get you, you're dead. Paramites get you, you're dead. Sleek shoots you, you're dead. A fleech has to punch you with its tongue seven times to kill you. Arguably they're pretty ineffective actually, when you put it like that, and yet they seem so dangerous and deadly. I was thinking, perhaps that's where their fear to the player comes from. Being killed isn't scary, it's just like, oh I'm dead, start again. Being chased is scary, having the chance of survival and knowing if you mess up you're dead. That's scary. The fleeches make you panic because they give you the chance to panic. They allow you to experience six mistakes before the seventh strike of their tongue is what finally gets you. Speaking of which, the music that denotes that fleeches are nearby is one of the most effective pieces of music in the Oddworld games in my opinion. It fits so perfectly to strike dread into the hearts of the players as soon as you land on a screen with fleeches. And as though to show how dangerous they are, even if they can't get to you yet, it changes the chase music as soon as they're aware of your presence, as though to show how much of a threat they are. But back in game though, I always loved the way everything was sort of scared of a fleech, even though they're so small because they were so dangerous, you know, even scrabs and paramites seem to like to keep their distance to some degree, judging by the gameplay, even though they're pretty capable of killing fleeches easily. They often don't seem to attack fleeches unless they get too close. Perhaps because it's such a risk to take on a fleech. Likewise, of course, fleeches keep their distance from scrabs and paramites, but won't hesitate to attack them if cornered and under threat, and are easily capable somehow of eating them whole with their instant digestion system. I can imagine eating a scrab would give them quite some bad indigestion. I hope the vikers have invented an odd world equivalent of Gaviscon. Probably the only creature able to get close to the fleeches without getting eaten are slugs. The odd world equivalent of slugs in case you couldn't tell by the fact that their name is just slug with an R snuck in there. Slugs are the most pathetic life forms on Oddworld, or at least among them, being right at the bottom of the food chain. They have a cohabitational relationship with leeches built on synergy, whereby the slugs emit a popping sound when a life form steps on them or squishes them, which alerts the inevitably nearby leeches who are then able to attack and eat the intruder. The slugs then feed on the waste of the leeches, as well as whatever remains from their carcasses once they die. As a result, the slugs are, I think, the only creature that's been seen that the fleeches won't eat, which puts them in a pretty good position, really, completely protected by their masters. I guess the fleeches simply know that the slugs are more useful to them to alert them of bigger food and threats, and won't get much out of eating slugs anyway. It's not exactly as if slugs have much meat on them. Slugs in the real world are mostly made out of water, and I'd guess slugs are too, judging by that splat when they're stepped on. Plus, it's interesting to note that real-life slugs often secrete a bad taste in mucus to deter predators, so slugs might have this ability too, and therefore wouldn't even be very nice to eat, it is known that they are covered in some kind of disgusting slime. The only catch for the slugs really is that they essentially live to be stepped on, which might seem bad unless you're into that, but in real life, some slugs can actually regenerate to a point they even self-amputate their own bodies as if it's nothing and just grow a new one. So potentially, when you squish a slug in the game, you're not actually killing it. The slug simply says, tis but a scratch, and may eventually regenerate, probably just in time to eat the waste of your remains provided to it by the fleeches after they've devoured you. Considering the fleeches are essentially an artificial entity, it's curious that they've managed to create such an important symbiotic existence with a natural creature, slugs. And it makes me wonder, if the theory is true that fleeches were once wild animals that were captured and turned into fleeches, or maybe slugs are what they were before they were genetically modified. It would explain why they seem to naturally have a good relationship, but I'm not sure they're so unlike each other, it's a pretty wacky theory, but just something I thought of. 
I always found it weird how different the slugs look from the game's manual, and how they look in-game. You know, in-game they look like little black leech feathers, no sticky-up slug eyes or anything. And then in the instruction booklet, they've got this really detailed picture of a slug with this pathetic expression on its face. And it looks like a giant purple slug from a Jim Henson film or something. It's really quite different to how it looks in the game. But then again, slugs and snails can retract their eyes, I think, can't they? So maybe that's what we're seeing in the gameplay, and just can't make out the other details. The Fleeches are likely coming back in Oddworld Soulstorm. In 2019, Laurel Lanning posted in Discord that a Fleeches are his favourite redesigned creature in Soulstorm, saying that in Abe's Exodus they were in a larvae state, but have now hatched into something way more creepy. I would outright say Fleeches are confirmed as a result of that, that was so long ago and so much potentially would have changed since then. In a very recent interview, Laurel Lanning said that the game has expanded and contracted along its development history, and they've made some cuts of what they originally wanted to be in the game. Back in 2000, Fleeches were intended by Oddworld inhabitants to be in Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, and yet they weren't. Although I would have loved to have seen Fleeches in 3D, that'd be amazing. So it's well possible that they might not end up in Soulstorm 2. I think it was over two years ago that Lord Nanin mentioned them after all. However, a larvae state is a thing that an animal does before they grow into a fully fledged adult, like a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. It's been theorised that a squid thing seen in the depths of Necrum might be the new fleeches, hatched from their larvae state. I personally don't think they are, but I'm just theorising, so who knows. It's just on Discord, Lorne had mentioned earlier that day that there was a new creature that would creep us out, and those squid things seem to fit more like that description, I would argue. But then again, maybe even then, with this new creature, he might have still been talking about the new fleeches, as though it's a separate animal, but who knows. There's apparently often multiple metamorphosis stages in real life insects that do this, so it'll be interesting to see what inspiration the fleeches take with this, Maybe there's different types of them. But I also do wonder, assuming they are in the game, if the original Fleeches as we know them will still be there, or if they'll be replaced entirely by their successors. Either way, if they're in the game, they're bound to be scary, and I look forward to seeing how Oddworld Soulstorm would bring back the fear of the Fleeches. Hello. Follow me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 